What's up, everyone? It is your girl, Jail Beauty 87 here, aka Grace, and we're on another episode of my top 10 favorite palettes from. So, today's brand is Milk Cosmetics. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about my 10 favorite palettes from Milk Cosmetics. Um, I'm gonna explain why I like them, explain um, my reasoning behind purchasing them, and then I'll go ahead and um, do what I look with one of the 10 palettes I'm going to show you. So, please be advised, I did remake about two or three of these palettes. So, I'm gonna start off with the ones I remade, and then I'll go into the ones that just like are truly their own color source. So, then that way we're not confused moving forward. Actually, I'm sorry, let me get that right. I did four. So, four of the six palettes you're about to see, I just redesigned based upon my color preferences, but you know, that's just a me thing. Um, with the melt shadows, you can um, move them around just like you can with the Natasha Denona and the ColourPop. So I like to do it when I don't necessarily think the color story works exactly perfectly the way I would want it to work. So then that way I can, you know, um, have my perfect color story. And since they're some of my favorite brands, I have plenty of shadows from them to choose and switch around with. So I especially like to do it with ColourPop because I feel like they come up with the same five a few shades and I'm like I want to mix the shades and when the fun shade comes in that palette I'm going to put it in another one but back to Mel Cosmetics so let's get started so we're going to start off with the blueprint palette so this was um one of the palettes I uh, like I said I redid um I just felt like I wasn't feeling the browns that they put in this palette because I'm like when I think of a blueprint I think about like grays and whites and silvers and well blues because it's called a blueprint and I feel like when you actually see a blueprint, that's what it looks like. You don't see browns anywhere around. So I was confused where they came with the browns. But I know like people like to do palettes with pops of blue. And I guess that was their whole thing because they have lots of grungy palettes. So they needed to have some browns in there. But since they're known for having a lot of color and grunginess going on, I'm assuming that's why they did brown and blue. I wasn't feeling it. So what I did was I took all the um, grayish silvery tones out of the Millennial Pinks palette when it went on super clearance. And just added them to this palette. So that's what my blueprint palette looks like this. I still left this... Um, um, bronzy shade for the inner corner if you will because I had the silver and I figured the bronze would lighten up a little bit when you have to use like the blacks I just realized this grayish looks really close to the silver I mean to this black but they're not but this is what my blueprint palette looks like versus what the blueprint palette that you would buy in the store actually looks like I like the way mine looks a whole lot better I wish I could find a better shade to switch this out with like I feel like a champagne shade instead of a bronze shade will work better because to me this still pulls a little bit more bronzy than champagne and I want like that light um champagne shade to work better with these tones but you know it looks fine for what it is and I like using it the way I made it way better than the way they originally made it but you know it's cool it's fine um I still use it and there you go the next one I have is the brunette palette now Melt likes to have hit and miss palettes. To me, this is just an okay palette. The blueprint is good. To me, this is just okay. So what I did was, I think some of the brown shades I took out of um, the um, blueprint palette I just showed you, I put in here. I actually bought this palette from, uh, what is it, Leora here on YouTube for like, I think 25 bucks because she decluttered from her collection. But I actually like it overall. I took some of the shades from the Gemini palette as well my original Gemini palette I bought the bundle when the new one came out if you all remember I showed you my Gemini palette literally um came apart and like the glue was sticking the glue that stuck the palette down came off and it was the magnet was holding on literally by the top magnets here so I needed to get a new one but um I took the shades out of here that worked for me and I really like the way it turned out so I am happy with the way this palette looks and I use it from time to time when I want to use a neutral every now and again but I'm not really big on neutrals but this is still one of my favorites and one of my favorite creations so I want to show it off so there you go what I put the no palette with it y'all it's how you know I'm tired I, I know we lost a whole palette like where did it go girl I don't know whatever moving on it's probably behind me anyway next i have the millennial pinks now if you all remember i told you i changed my milk palettes out so what i did was i changed the millennial pinks from the way it was like i told you i took the stuff from blueprint and put it sorry i took the stuff from millennial pinks and put it in blueprint so since i have gemini i took the shades from gemini and 420 because 420 wasn't that great a palette this palette is okay too it's not that great a palette it's like the brunette it's just kind of meh and i just made it like a more like green pink type vibe so i tried to make a wannabe aka earthy toned with pops of pink type palette so that's what i like to call this one um i actually use this palette i like the look i came up with it i like the shade right here called pink rose i think it looks really nice alongside some of these greens and then i just use like this pink on my brow bone so i made a really nice look with this palette and i'm happy with the way it turned out it's just more of 
the formalness isn't as great as other palettes that um the brand has come out with so i'm kind of just like hmm like he could have did better but you know i guess it's a little care for now because you know mm. anyway next i have the mary jane palette from milk cosmetics so again this is another palette I redesigned this is the last one i redesigned though from the brand um, I just didn't like all the shades that were in here, so I took some more shades from Gemini out and put it in here. So, for example, like this black, this came from Gemini. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like something else came from Gemini. Don't quote me. That might best be it, though. No, matter of fact, that is it. I just took the black from Gemini and put it in here because I don't think there's anything else from Gemini I could put in here except maybe... Well, no, I didn't put anything else. I literally just took the black because I didn't like... The fact that I felt like this was the only deepening up shade. And it's like if I don't want a dark brown, I want to have another option. So there was a lighter brown in here that I took out to replace with the black. Or a, a similar shimmer or something to that effect. I forgot exactly what it was. It's in my throwaway palette. Well, not throwaway palette. But it's in my palette that I don't really care about as much. So this is what it looks like now. As you can see, it's just really smoky, grungy palette. To me, this is what... um it's like a modern version of the naked smoky palette that's the best way i can describe it except you got a whole lot more of i feel like i guess gun metalish taupey shades as opposed to what was in the um smoky palette but it's been so long since i've seen the smoky palette i got rid of mine a million years ago i can't even necessarily remember what was all in it so i probably shouldn't be judging so i'm trying to figure out which one of these palettes we're going to use for the video i think i got an idea on a couple of palettes i want to combine and use in this video to um make the eye look so i'm gonna try to put those toward the end so let's get into these other ones so of course i got my smoke session this is literally one of my all-time favorite melt palettes out of all the melt palettes in my collection this is easily one of my most used melt palettes i love this palette it is stunning it is wonderful it is everything i love this palette so this is what smoke sessions look like on the inside it's nothing too special or crazy i just love this section over here a lot but i do like the fact that this is a super grungy version of some eyeshadows when i do want to do a neutral look or what i need to do a neutral look in emergencies the only thing that sucks is it's like you don't have a crease shade so it's like you gotta use this on your eye and the shimmer just has to take over everything or maybe you can find like a brow bone shade in your collection just to put on really quick that matches your skin tone to lay down your eyeshadow primer but otherwise like i love this palette like i'm so glad i didn't buy it when it initially came out on uh, Christmas I bought it as like when they came out for 420 again the next year because everybody had the issues with puffing in the pan as you can see mine are fine I haven't had any effect like that I haven't any issues with this palette and I've had this palette for quite a while but I have never had that issue so this is one of my all-time most used favorite melt palettes I love this palette um next what do we have so I guess I could put these two together these are the Holiday collection of 2020, I want to say. The Beetlejuice and Milk Cosmetics. If you already know, the owners of um, Milk Cosmetics love Beetlejuice. Like, one of them literally has Beetlejuice tattooed on her arm. So, needless to say, this is not a surprise for any of people who buy from Milk. Because they genuinely love Beetlejuice. So, here's the insert. I think it looks so cool that they put movie inserts of their in the palette but here's what the shades look like as you can see this one is definitely more purple and green heavy which you know i'm here for it's fine it's just I, I feel like these two purples look too similar when i put them on the eye and then the shimmers look too similar as well so that was my only downfall with this palette but overall it's a nice palette i think it's stunning i um paired with other things in my collection like i like to pair this with the not normal palette from unearthly cosmetics and because it has extra um mats and stuff that you can use that you won't find in the um well in this milk bb juice palette or recently deceased palette because that's the name of this one and then the other one i showed you all is called the waiting room so this is what it looks like it's more on the grungier side if you will i feel like if you had to pick between the two and it has like the half the lady that's cut in half in here but as you can see it has like the deeper grungy um tones on the bottom like those grays and stuff i showed you in the mary jane palette but you have fun pops of red to go with it so i really like this palette because it gives you all these different varieties of reds and red shimmers and then you get all these cool deeper short of mattes and you can put this cool shade on your brow bone or all over your lid and just pop this in the inner corner and just have a really cool and unique look that i feel like you won't see a lot of other people with so i like that they come up with a unique color stories a lot of time but sometimes i feel like their color stories overlap and it's just like look girl you're doing too much you know gave me five or ten or fifteen of the same color story like when are we when are we gonna stop when are we gonna calm down when are we gonna cut it oh i put it in the box with the grungy palette that's why i couldn't find it because i was like i know i still have the palette so 
Okay. So last two are the one what's up? No, there's one more, and then the last two I show are the ones I think I'm we're gonna do on the eye. So we have the bad side from Milk Cosmetics. So it's a bad zodiac. Bad Side Zodiac Collection from Melt Cosmetics. It actually came out this year in 2022. This is their holiday collection, so they did all the Zodiac signs. So Earth is Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Um, that's what it looks like on the inside, as you can see. It's, it gives similar vibes of some other milk palettes I feel like I've shown you. It had, well, actually, this just gives vibes of like Gemini mixed with um, some, um, I guess, warmish, auberginish type tones, but... It's definitely giving earthy vibes and since these are colors that milk likes to do a lot i feel like you already have in your collection so i like this one if you want to i i put this one in here because it's good for people who want to sample milk cosmetics since i have a lot of milk cosmetics it's not that as exciting for me and you know since i'm a water sign i was more excited about the water sign palette anyway just for that reason alone but you know it's nice and out of all four of the ones i have that one and the one i'm about to show you now the water palette are my favorite ones so, here's what the water palette looks like. It is for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. If you all did not know, I'm a Scorpio. I actually just ended my birthday giveaway this week. I need to go mail off the person's package. I'm probably going to do it at the end of the week, not to be bogus. Just because, you know, it's going to be a busy week for me. But, it's what it looks like on the inside. As you can see, I love the curated color story. It has a nice little taupey shade. It has a nice little... Um, crease or brow bone shade for you to use and it has like all these different tones of blue and I like the fact they gave it mint one of their turquoise looking one and then a really deep one so I really like this palette I'm obsessed and we're definitely going to pair this one with the um, most color the most coveted melt palette of all time so I feel like you should already know what I'm talking about that's right we're going to pair the water palette from the bad zodiac signs alongside the morse palette because I feel like we just have to like this is one of the most sought after palettes of all time for Mel. So I figured we can take the um, reds out of here and then the blues out of here. Maybe take some mitts out of here as well. But I feel like it just has to be done. Like I feel like we just have to put them together somehow. I don't even know how. I think because mainly this one has neutrals in it that this one doesn't have for us to bring the eyelid together is why I want to do it. But like I just. Morte was so sought after to the point where like people begged them to bring it back and then they finally brought it back this year so I want to be able to use mine again for because for the longest time I was not allowed to use mine because I didn't want to make my followers feel bad about not having the palette but once they came back with it, I was like look here y'all stop playing with me okay stop playing with me I am going to be able to use this palette again and I will use it again so we are going to use the Morte alongside the um alongside the water palette and see how that goes so those are my top 10 favorite melt palettes though now let's get into the eye looks and zoom in real quick and cute like if you're curious what's on my eyes right now i have the excuse me adept cosmetics minka palette i hope i'm saying it right i keep feeling like it's wrong but i keep saying minka anyway so it's the minka palette that's on my eyes right now and i use one shade from the um nearly natural palette from Glaminatrix, the green is in my crease but the rest of the stuff on my eyes is simply the minka palette from um adept cosmetics anyway i'm gonna go off camera figure out what we're gonna do with this look it's gonna be obviously very red green and blue base but that's fine with me and i'll be right back girl okay 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 y'all so this is the eye that we came up with yeah. combining both the melt palettes that i talked about so i used of course my until that time the water and then i used the glorious wonderful morte palette that everyone is obsessed with and loves um so let's get to it it's the middle of the night y'all and i'm tired but adrian game over has to go to register for high school tomorrow i know right like y'all he's graduating from eighth grade in june and then mommy has to go register for him for high school now which i'm like shocked about because i'm like i feel like it's awfully early but you know whatever he's class of 2027 y'all so in 2027 i will have a grown child so when i'm 40 years old my son will be an adult it's crazy because y'all remember um i'm born in 87 so in 27 i'll be 40 and kissy man or asian game over will have graduated from high school so his eighth grade graduation is supposed to be at um St. Xavier's. So what I did was I mixed these two shades together. Y'all know I had to try to get a purpose out of this one because you know it serves a purpose for me. So I mixed it with this just to like set the eye up here. Then I mixed this matte with the matte in the um 
Morte. And then I mix um, this matte with the matte and the Morte. And then I mix this shimmer with the shimmer and the Morte. So I just basically um, went mixing both the palettes together because I was like, we're going we to get my money's worth today. So that's how I got this dark piece up here. Then I ended up putting the mint on top of it after the fact just because I was like, you know, I wanted to use the um, mint shade. And I was like, I feel, I feel the need to use it. So we're going to use it. I got some new software I started using for thumbnails. If you all haven't noticed the difference in my thumbnails, I'm trying to get like better with the thumbnail thing because you know that's what usually makes you click on you know, stuff. So I feel like I've done like pretty good with some of them in the past, but it's like I'm trying to make it consistently look nice. So I'm trying to work on that. I love how I'm saying that, but like the video y'all saw today, February, the, I think it's the third. Like I had no thumbnail, like it was just out here. But I meant to make a thumbnail when I was at work, but it got really busy, and then we had like. I'm constantly having people call off. So, um, I didn't get to make it like I had planned on it. But it was cool. You know, it was fine. I went ahead and, you know, hooked it up. And, I mean, I'm going to go ahead and hook it up tonight. Because I still haven't made it up to all this time. But, y'all, I'll be tired half the time. Like, y'all, I told y'all before. Like, girl, I'm tired. Always tired. So, now let's go into the other palette and show you which ones I use there. So, I mix these two reds right here. Then I put this red in the crease. I mix this shimmer with the lighter shimmer in the other palette. I mix this matte with the lighter matte in the other palette. And I mix this matte with the matte in the other palette. And I use this um, shade along with the black and the uh, the blackish blue in the other palette. So I literally just jumped from palette to palette and used as many colors as I could to create what we got going on here. Which I kind of like. Which I was kind of concerned. I was like, am I going to be feeling this? I don't know. But, you know, it's cute. Or whatever. But y'all, uh, it has been a rough week. I've been trying to do TikToks for um, Valentine's, Galentine's, Anti-Valentine's Day series. I told y'all I was starting a new series on TikTok. That's it. I'm thinking from now on, my um, comparisons for palettes, when I do videos on palettes, I will put in a shorts video instead of putting them in the actual video. Because if y'all haven't noticed, like, it takes up a lot of time in the video. Especially since I don't edit, like, the way I do eye looks. So I'm thinking I feel like that would be a better route for you all. So that way if you just want to see the comparisons, you don't have to try to come and watch the video just for me to get to the part where the comparisons are. And you can see it compared to other things if that's what you come to me for. Since I do do a lot of that and try to make sure that I'm a huge part of what I do when I do show you palettes. I try to show you stuff you already have. Because girl, I'm hearing eggs are outrageous. Now I don't personally eat eggs. So I don't know. But you know like all the jokes I've been seeing about people talking about being outrageous. They must be pretty hot because you know. Now I'm going to take the light red. I just took those two dark reds and put them on the outer V. I literally just took the light red and like try to dust it in the crease area like right up in here to give a little bit more color and over the top of this. But yeah, so I'm like, I'm hearing the price of the eggs are outrageous. Not to mention the gas is going back up, which I don't appreciate either. So I'm just kind of over here like, look, listen. My friend B used to say, listen, listen. <laughs> like I can't with these prices. So I always try to make sure I find y'all alternatives to these prices because I just feel like these prices are outrageous. Let's put a little bit more red on this side because I feel like once it starts oxidizing after it's been on for a little while, you don't see the brightness that comes with the red. And that's what I wanted to accent at the brow bone. Y'all know I like to have the lighter color toward the top and I have the deeper color toward the bottom. So that's why I'm trying to redo this one, especially since I have to take the picture after I get done talking to you all about these palettes and my thoughts and all that good stuff there. So I'm going to take the clean brush now and dust underneath here, dust over the top here and dust around. Now, let's get into the um, crease shade. So I just mixed the two shades. So I started off with this darker one right here. Focus. Focus. Yeah, I started off with this darker one right here. Since it's act like I can't fully focus, I don't know why. Yeah, that one right there. And then I mixed it with, with this blue right here. And that's what we got, whatever color this is to decrease. I don't know. But I'm going to start off with the darker one. Then I tapped it off a little bit. And then I went into the lighter one. And... It's going to the crease, but yeah, y'all saw a whole bunch of stuff is changing for the better, it seems like. And I am happy about it because I feel like it's been a long, long time coming. It's like, y'all, I feel like it's been a long time coming. I'm trying to come up with more unique and fun series as opposed to just doing lots of reviews. I mean, I still do reviews, I still plan on doing reviews. It's just, I'm trying to come up with some stuff to use more eyeshadow palettes with as opposed to just doing lots of reviews. 
And I'm gonna do some like commentary about my um, makeup and stuff too. So I feel like that'll be like a nice fun thing for me to um, branch off into and try to do a little bit more. Let's take a clean brush again before we get into the mint shade and just kind of dust over this part right here and over here underneath. Okay, now we're gonna go into the mint shade. So I'm gonna start off with the lighter one and I did the lighter one mainly first all over and then i put a little bit of the deeperish one on top so let's work into that so but yeah i feel like a lot of stuff has turned around for the better at least when it comes to work i mean youtube i'm happy to have made it to a thousand and uh make sure you go um enter the giveaway that's going on right now because it's lasting this whole month of February. I'm filming this in February. I'm hoping this goes up in February. Especially because I'm saying this in this video. And then y'all like, it goes March the 13th. And y'all like, Heffa, what are you talking about? So I'm going to try to make sure this one goes up in February. I'm going to try not to talk about it in a whole bunch of different videos. Because I've already like pre-filmed videos for this. Talking about stuff from way long ago. Because I know one of y'all was like, um, Cyber Monday. Like, what are you talking about, girl? And I'm like, ma'am. Did y'all forget I started pre-filming stuff? I, I had pre-filmed that video. I think when um, Wanna Be Natural was talking to me and and was like, Cyber Monday scratched on her head. I'm like, girl, I pre-filmed this in November. Cyber Monday was still going on. <laughs> then stop judging me. <laughs> like, I have to do when I have time, girl, okay? So, let me get a little bit more of the red. Just try to blend this a little bit here and make it look a little more better. I need to a little more better. It's not a real word, I'm sorry. I'm just bring the red up here too because you know it's here we're here everyone's here so just bring it up take the clean brush and just blend and dust over everywhere though I'm so excited for all my friends that are coming close to hitting a thousand this year and I'm like yes Dion girl hit that thousand yes Erica Conger hit that thousand I'm just so excited to see all of them hit a thousand like I did I'm just like I cannot wait like, so I hope y'all are subscribed to Dion Love's Makeup. And I hope y'all are subscribed to Erica Conger. Because they make great content. And they actually do a lot of collabs together pretty often. So, if you like both of them, I think it'd be um, a good idea if you just go ahead and subscribe, bro. So just go subscribe. But yeah, here's what the eye is giving. Um... So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start off with this blue. So I started off with this blue right here and then I darkened it up with this blackish blue shimmer right here. I told you, I literally just dealt back and forth in each palette. Like, yeah, we're gonna make this deeper now. Yeah, we're gonna do this now. Okay, y'all, so I'm excited to see the new Ant-Man movie. I'm not even front. I'm not a huge Marvel person, but I just love Paul Rudd. So that that's mainly why I wanna see Ant-Man. I don't necessarily care about seeing Ant-Man. I just, I love Paul Rudd. Like, I've loved Paul Rudd since he was like, um, shares, um stepbrother and clueless like i was just like yes so i'm like i cannot wait i will be going to see the new ant-man movie sure i will okay you mean we y'all hear angel going in the background about some you mean we so yes it will be us going to see ant-man apparently since he has invited himself to go see ant-man with me Cause I could go on a Friday morning for like 10 bucks while somebody is cool and save all of my coins. But I'm like, I guess I go see with this boy. They got himself dancing in the background when I'm trying to film his eye look. You little messy boy. I'm not messy. Child, y'all, he is such a little brat. Tell me about I'm mommy, not a brat. For eighth grade graduation, I want to go to Hawaii. Like, Excuse me? Like, sir, it's eighth grade. You ain't graduating high school. We're talking about Hawaii. Excuse me? So, I'm like, I didn't get to go to Hawaii until I graduated from high school. And he over in eighth grade talking about he want to go to Hawaii and he you know, picked out the suit he want to wear and all this stuff, y'all. I'm like, listen, listen, sir. Job, do you have it? Yes. I'm talking about tuxedos and all this stuff. I'm like, look, sir, I need you to have a job. Off. All, all this stuff we're asking and like saying we won't like just how I need a job but according to him that's against child labor law so he can't have a job but he should just get to spend all my money 
What do you mean I make money for chores? I make $44 a month. Okay, then you buy your tuxedo. I can't afford it. <laughs> to go to DC. Do you see the foolish design? It's not mm, foolish. Job. Foolish is in top. Anyway, I'm p mixing both the mint shades together now. So I put the one from the uh, Eagle palette on top. And it's a little bit brighter than the one from, um, what do you call it? Um, from the Morte palette. And I just kind of blend them together to make it look even. So this is what we working with right now. I feel like I need to put a little bit more on this eye because I feel like the blue is taking over a little bit hard on this eye than on the other eye. I feel like that always happens. Like it always looks nicer on the eye I do on camera than the one I don't do on camera. And then sometimes I feel the like opposite. I don't know. Bro. Anyway, I'm gonna take a little bit more of this blue right in here just so I can feel like I blended it a little bit better. And then y'all know the drill, we're gonna go into the um, outer V shades and start that again. I don't think I'm going to the crease shades again for one, so y'all know I normally try to build up the crease a little bit, but I'm fine with like what it's giving for right now. So I can just see where it is, but I am gonna go back into those darker shades and I might go back into the red a little bit, depending on how I feel to look better. I'm gonna start with the darkest blue again, just kind of build it back out here. Then we're going to go to the Sangria Red, which is a little bit lighter red than the one that we put on the brow ball. And then we're going to go back to the lighter red and just bring a little bit more of it over the top just to get that extra oomph. I love the extra oomph that I feel like it gives, so we're doing that. We're doing it. It's too late. We're doing it. We'll dust all that. This is pretty much what we're working with. Let's go ahead and put these inner corner shades in. Again, I mixed both of those two. So I start off with the inner corner shade from Morte that I showed you first. And then open the inner corner. I feel like it gets a little more icy when you add the shade from the water palette. So that's the finished eye and I'm here for it. So let's back on up and talk about my thoughts. See, this is why I love Milk Cosmetics originally. Cause um, I feel like they came up with unique, fun colors that lots of other people didn't do. The problem is other people caught on to it being a marker for this and they started doing it. So like, I'm, I'm an email to step it up this year. Like y'all need to give us a shape shifter palette with a whole bunch of cool dual chromes to multi chromes that will cost us a million dollars, you know. I'm gonna need them to come out with the love six stack. I think it'd be fun for them to come out with the baby girl palette just because it's more brighter tones and they don't generally do brighter tones. But like, you know, I'm happy with these palettes right here and I'm happy with the look I created. So you can comment down below and tell me what you think of this look and if I worked it out or not. But I love the formula in these palettes. It's just you have to keep in mind the Mel has hit or miss formulas and those are things you have to think about. Because I like the formula in this one. The formula in this one is okay. It's not exceptional for what they charge. But, you know, if you want to try out Mel, I do think it's a good formula. I just don't think it's an exceptional formula like Morten and some other palettes from the past that they have. But those are my thoughts. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all are diamonds and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.